Okay, uh, yeah, we've had a problem here. Can say again, please. Uh -huh. uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Well, that all ended pretty abruptly, didn't it? So, uh, it's not all bad news. There is some good news. So let's talk about it now and see what's going on. Together we'll fly, explore and adventure. Find the limits and learn the basics. Scenic landscapes and how to. Discover the amazing joy of flight and all the rewards it brings with Cryonbox on the Recreational Pilot, beginning now. Well, the first bit of news is, well, let me first say that we've been watching this T-minus three days now, but let's scrub the launch because we've been watching weather and as you can see the weather has now turned pretty bad as forecast so we'll look at the weather first and you can see that it hasn't really improved and that isn't actually now the main concern there was something else going on in the back of my mind and I think we all know what that was yeah there's a bit of a lockdown going on and as a result the air show organizers have had to postpone not cancel but postpone the event apparently they're going to try and have the event now from the 16th of october this year instead of this weekend so that's uh july august september october three months away so anyway temperatures will warm up then as well so that might help me with my uh, warmer sleeping situation and don't tune out because tomorrow I will have the final part of this video. Um, we'll still check and see what the weather was going to do this weekend and see if it stays as per the forecast uh, was earlier this week. But we'll also take a look at some of the things that I was packing um, to do a four, uh, three night under wing camping. Now when we travel in a microlight of course weight and um, the volume of what we're taking is a huge concern so let's take a look at that because I had to three, uh, feed myself for three days fortunately there was uh, food on site as well if I needed that option to buy something but let's have a look at what's going on so the Brisbane Air Show postponed the organizers have written as follows New air show dates 16th and 17th of October 2021. Hi, this is a personal email to me as a ticket holder. I do have insurance to refund the tickets if I require. If I'm unable to make it on these dates, which I still hope I am able to, and again we'll be watching the weather as that time advances for that week beforehand anyway. So anyway, hi. Owing to recent lockdown restrictions beyond our control, it is with deep regret that we must announce that the Brisbane Air Show, due to take place at the Watts Bridge Memorial Airfield over the coming weekend of the 3rd and 4th of July 2021, has been postponed. Based on these restrictions, our commitment to deliver a safe air show, if, um, event, the event has been postponed to the weekend of the 16th and 17th of October 2021. Government imposed COVID lockdown restrictions designed to reduce increasing risk of the Delta and Alpha variants of COVID now prevents key flight crew, aviation expo, display aircraft and patrons from attending the show. This directly affects our ability to deliver a safe air show. The aggressive nature of the COVID Delta variant and the, and the inevitable disruption to this weekend's event schedule has moved us to adopt a stance which supports our community's health and our commitment to deliver a quality air show. Please join forces with us, postpone and get a jab is what they're saying. COVID requires a collective response 
Please roll with us to the 16th and 17th of October 2021 and enjoy one of Australia's finest air shows where we will be better placed to deliver a healthier, safer, wider immunised air show. We want to take this opportunity uh, we want to take this opportunity to thank all our supporters, patrons, suppliers and aeronautical fans for their contribution to the Brisbane Air Show. Without your support, the show simply could not go on. Keep your current ticket and turn up on the corresponding dates in October 2021 or apply for a refund. And um, there's a couple of other things here, but that's the general gist of the video. As you can see, the showers have backed off again and uh, we'll be able to um, move towards this event, warmer months, more thermal months, but moving into the stormier months. Our storms generally start around about September, so October, again, still has its uh, problems with weather. Now, talking about weather, we were going to have a look at the radar and so forth as... Um, as it looks now for the next few days just to see how this weather was looking but as you'll see I'm sure there are problems with uh, the rain, potential storms, um, low cloud bases and all that as it has been all week. So we'll end with that now. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. I'll show you how I was going to pack, what I was going to pack regarding food, keeping warm. I won't really show you what clothing I'm going to wear. Um, there probably won't be an opportunity to shower either. So um, trying to uh, stay as clean as possible. Um, it will be warmer too, so there'll be a bit more, um, well, it'll just be hotter. So maybe a shower if I can find one would be a good idea, hey. Or well, there won't be too many people coming too close to me, which could be a good deterrent for those that want us, well, not want to, but just to keep people away during these pandemic times. Anyway, thank you for watching again and uh, tune in tomorrow. This one was later because I have been working down the, the coast today and I've only just got back this afternoon. Um, and this weather, well, is as predicted and I've waffled long enough. Oh, and before I go, one more last thing, more good news. I'm not working now, tomorrow and the next three days after that. So that's four days where I will have a chance to edit our next big video. Finding the source of the Mary River is finding and following the whole river from the mouth right to the source, finding out where it starts and we fly all the way up the river, about 200 to 250 kilometers of it, I now have a chance to edit that video. And another recent um, adventure that we did is a five day flying adventure where I went up to West Inland Queensland uh, to the north to Biloela and the area and I had five days of flying around and staying there with a friend. He flew his uh, Tanag Neo and uh, we just had some great days of flying. There was some funny weather in between as well, but we certainly had some good weather for the opportunity to fly. So please join me and follow along as we journey and adventure and hopefully one day we'll be able to fly together too. And uh, this journey's not over yet, so keep watching and let's go. Until then, I hope you liked my introduction uh, today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.